our whole public awareness uh, for a little while until we achieve two things. Number one, uh, we have to have a plan, a solid solution for our funding of the company. And two, we didn't want to really talk again until we had a fully engineered vehicle to show you. So a lot of people have asked me, well, Paul, why don't you just go ahead and put it, put it out there and you, know, you can refine it once it's already in production. And I'll tell you that sincerely, you can do that in the software business. Uh, you can't do that in the automotive business. Now, I don't ever want to be lumped in with the likes of car companies like the Yugos and Brickmans and DeLoreans. So, yes, we are behind our projected launch timing and, and our production plans. We're behind. Because it is the first design intent at Terra 2E. It's the first vehicle we've, we've built that was built to customer level customer-driven vehicle-level targets. Okay, what is a customer-driven vehicle-level target? Through clinics and other means, we measure what the customers are interested in. Then we correctly position our vehicle in the marketplace. So 2E also has half of the emission profile of a Toyota Prius, and when you drive it, less than two cents a mile. Now, when you think about those three, we are actually creating the most energy-efficient vehicle in the world. And our business plan calls for new jobs. In our Oceanside facility, we're going to put 500 new full-time employees to work, making the 2E. And from there, we will open a second facility that will employ, ultimately, up to 2,500 employees directly into Aptera. Now, if you think about our supply base, our predominant supply base is American also. And if you think about the far-reaching effects of that on our economy, Aptera will create another 10,000 indirect jobs. Uh, when combined with our plan for two U.S. assembly plants, California-based engineering and design, we think America, this is going to be America's poster child for efficient vehicles in the future.